how you take they cope with farming and even your official administrative duties for the state? Well, I want to thank Unafes for coming to Benue, for identifying with us to see the Wahala way we did inside. Uh, the truth be say, if not be God, uh, all of us, this uh, herdsmen for don't consume us. The people where you see for camp, the one where they outside, they, they stay with uh, relations, are far more than the one where they for camp. We have this camp, they, they ate. And um, the, the ones that are, where we put for record, they did like 180,000. And uh, the painful thing we say, 60% of the people were there for this camp, the children, way for the go school. So for the past six months, our children don't go to school. And you can imagine what we're going through. So thank you for coming. I believe, say, after you go, more people will hear about the thing we will do here. For farming, where you come meet me here, this thing I did do for the past 27 years. Uh, right when I've been the local government chairman, I never live farming. So the thing don't become part of me. And the good thing be say, if I walk out here around, I go sweat. So instead of going to play tennis or badminton or do sports, uh, that one, your body go win. But here, if I come, I feel show my farm manager. And other people where they work for me say, this one no good, do it this way, do it that way. Because I don't get experience for this thing well, well. So uh, the thing don't become part of me. So instead of leisure time, now here they do my leisure. Any time where I get small time, now here they come uh, to see what is happening and to also teach the people where I employ, where they work here. And again, Benway State is a food basket of uh, this country. So uh, one major program where my government they do is for agriculture. Okay. And I want to live by example. So when we sit for council, they talk. I know, say, I go to talk from the practical thing with me at the sea on ground. Yes. Uh, so the thing they help me, you know, distort my uh, work at all. You know, disturb my work. Uh, they do my work. Anytime I have small time, I, I come here, like today, the public holiday. Yes. But I day here, they do my own public holiday here. <laughs> and I'm happy doing it. Uh, the younger ones uh, are learning from me. And I'm happy that I'm impacting. Uh, they carry the experience where I get put for their head. Uh, we're happy doing it. I will thank God. Uh, all right. Uh, we know say, this crisis of uh, the attacks on uh, farming communities for Benue State don't last months now we know say if we trace go back many years ago not be the first time where this attack then go happen but this one can't be like say uh, we never hear this type before where communities they displaced over five hundred thousand people are all these old thing take they affect food production for benway state and even nigeria presently sir the thing will affect food production well well because I'm happy you don't go to some of the camps and you see the number of people where they are. All those people, no uh, people where they do Oibo work there, they are, all of them are farmers. Now then they produce food. And when you gather the thing put together, the thing will come become big. That is where you see Benue food in Abuja, in the south south, in the southwest and in the north everywhere where you go because this land where we get so that god bless us with so everything we would do here the farm the uh, for farm the day good though as you see my farm here yes. my plan be say everything where i feel do i go do i don't they do research for many years to produce many things uh, if god help me i want to turn the place to be a vocational training center 
for a young men to come uh, to come learn and uh, to go establish their own. So what uh, is happening is no good at all because this thing go make hunger go come for Benue here. And if Benue will be food basket, uh, hunger day, it means the whole country will also be hungry. Or food prices go, go, work, go up because uh, now every person where you see for camp, some of them no day for camp, uh, they, they, they stay with relatives, but they don't get where to go. Yes. We have report once people try to go farm, they will go kill them. This helps me go and kill them. The thing is going on. Even yesterday, uh, they attacked some of our people. I'm yet to receive report from the chairman how many people they don't, whether they don't kill people, but they burn houses. And even the security men, they attacked them uh, yesterday. Uh, there were plenty, and they came from a neighboring state. Don't want to mention a name because. That one I don't report and finish. So the argument they say they won't take over this land. And we don't understand at this age and at this time, people will come from somewhere, from Mali, from Niger, from whatever, from Guinea, and they won't come and take over our uh, land. For what? So where do they want us to go? They want us to go to Mali or Guinea or where. That is why the security people, they say they be Libyan uh, mercenaries. Yes. Some will say na Boko Haram. Some will say na Asis, West Africa. Some will say na mercenaries, hired mercenaries. All that we're saying is why should we allow all these people, whatever you call them, to come and disturb us for our own country? It's because we are long abiding. We too, we can uh, do anything to survive, but we have decided to be law abiding. And people where they talk say now nah, because we don't make law to regulate uh, or help control the activities of herdsmen, so that fight between herdsmen and farmers will stop. People where they talk this one, I keep asking this question: How about Zamfara? There are more killings in Zamfara. Uh, than even what is happening in Benue State here. Yeah. How about Kaduna? How about Plateau? How about Adamawa? Is there law there? These people, they are not good people. All they want is to destroy the government of Buhari, destroy Nigeria, make uh, Nigeria scatter. That is their own agenda for this country. And all Nigerians, whether security men, or politicians or those in power, all of us must come put our heads together and drive these people away from our country. You go surprised you say, even security men, they no spare them all. Now so then they kill them. Soldiers, then they kill them. Police, then they kill. Civil defense, then they kill. SSS, they no spare them. Then they kill them. Any person they see, they kill them and butcher them. Like a chicken. You know, so this kind of thing is, is, is not very good. We must all put hands together. Make we support, make this thing come out from our face because it is no good. As you see me, I know the sleeper. Oh. Anytime I sleep, I would dream like, say, I day for IDP camp. It could have been me. If I were not governor, maybe it would have been me in that camp because if you go to my village, these people don't destabilize me, my farm. There are places I cannot go again, you know. So all those people you see there are the people that, where they produce the food, where they chop for this state and for this country. And as they day camp, they cannot go. This is the right time. Everybody, as you see me in my farm here, this is where every other person is supposed to go farm. And uh, they cannot go there because of this problem. Oh, uh, sir, one thing we we notice from uh, our visit to the camps and when we talk to the people, uh, most of them they praise and they thank the state government. And when we ask them uh, questions about whether uh, did they hear anything about what the federal government they do and the rest, 
most of them they ask questions say they need the federal government to do more but all they know now the state government or uh, the state they enjoy any support from federal government at all federal government they support to nema don't come here uh give us food uh the president himself he come vice president also come and um the federal government and them they provide us with uh, security and even here you see that soldiers are here police are here ss are here the federal government they provide all this one uh again when uh president came he say he will go and come back so the vice president come uh he order for more materials to come to support us and they are also trying to build houses so that people can resettle and go back they also pro uh, say they will give us uh uh farm input uh like fertilizer like seedling and other things tractors that will support the farmers when they go back make them no find difficulty to do their farm work and uh, they are working very hard i can see very serious uh, work being done and we are having some uh, little peace compared to what has been happening in the past month so all these are efforts of uh, federal government and uh, the vice president he promised us say they will provide other things that will help our people to resettle but i must say that uh, some state government in nigeria here some spirited individuals civil societies individuals and several other people have really given us as you can see them in the camp they are looking healthy uh, several faith-based organizations uh, don't give us support to ensure that uh, nobody they seek they provide um, medical service and uh, food items and non-food items all this one people have been bringing it to us so and we have uh, the team where they manage those camp very well despite the challenges you can see that those places are uh, neat in fact uh, for for the camp management uh, i must say say i never really see uh, anything we feel the better organized because i i, I meet with uh, even the uh, the uh, affected peoples with the idps them for the camp mm -hmm. and i even know say they get their level of organization to take uh, the relate with things mm -hmm. uh, but an another big question sir because uh, when we talk to some of them their major concern really in say they won't go back to their farm mm -hmm. so uh, how soon with all the effort where you say the uh, federal government they make and uh, waiting the state government they make and other support where they come how soon you think say these people go fit go back to their community and continue uh, to live peacefully as they lived before we still they test the ground to see whether it's enough for them to go back because plenty of people we don't make trial to go back uh, to their home they don't kill them so it is something that on, unless we try and we're sure that uh, the security men uh, chase those people away then we can uh, really uh, advise them to go but there are some places that uh, people have actually gone back uh, but those remote areas the place where they fire inside with security men all oh, day, plenty, uh, is a problem. So that one, I cannot advise them. More than three months, we don't pass. I, I went around the camp. I saw those people, I spoke to them, and they told me, they, everybody, including the small children, want to go back to their homes. They are tired of staying in that, uh, those camp. And I can understand, and I appreciate that fact. So. I will say uh, as soon as possible we were able to chase this uh, uh, herdsmen militia away from our land and the land is secure we can advise them or even lead them to go back to do their communities. Sir, you still be chief security officer of Benway State? 
Well, uh, chief security officer in court because the security no day my hand. Okay. That is the truth. Security in a federal government problem. You know we are in a federation, and the constitution don't give us uh, responsibility. We, we can make laws. As far as the law no contradict that of uh, the constitution government. of the federal government, but the enforcement of the law that one a federal government, na him na them they do am. So when you say I be chief security officer, if I give order to police or soldier or this thing, and they say no, I have nothing to do. So the best thing now to work with them. Now that is what me I they do here. I they beg, if need be to beg. I they work with them, say that they need to help me. And so far, the ones say they don't post here to be to say the truth. They are doing well. The the security way they don't post to me here in Benue State. Then they work very well. May the source of uh, uh, those who have uh, paid their supreme price, security men, because they want us to have peace, rest in peace. And I pray that God will help their families. Because this country, there is nothing you can do that will be enough to uh, uh, come out the gap where these people don't live. They are all breadwinners. They came here in Benue State and died because they want to keep peace in Benue State. So they are doing well. For me, uh, as governor, I cannot resign as a chief security officer. I'm the chairman of the state security council. And uh, of course, all those security heads that are here know that they are working under me when it comes to issues that are here. But I can only say that, yes, chief security officer in court. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, there you have it. Uh, time with uh, His Excellency, uh, the Executive Governor of Benway State, uh, Samuel Autumn. Thank you very much for your time. And I like saying you speak pigeon. I don't know if when I watch you for TV, I don't know if you speak pigeon like this. I they try small, but I say pigeon a good grammar, the thing good. And we need to uh, make we adopt and make it become our national language. That why everybody is a big speaker. Okay, you see, uh, I remember uh, back in 2014, we worked on a project to legalize pigeon for Nigeria with some professors. Mm -hmm. Now, when we get the executive governor of Benway State, we support this. Maybe it will soon become a reality. <laughs> 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 All right, thank you very much, thank sir. You very thank much. you, sir. I appreciate thank you, sir. I appreciate